Hi there, Rupert from Palace here. Um, and this is my gear zone. Um, these are my guitars. I have a pair of Hondos, which I know a lot of people probably think that's a terrible idea, but I like them. I think they sound pretty good. This is, uh, yeah, it's in the S335 kind of knockoff from like the late 70s, maybe early 80s. I don't really know. It's it's a mess. It's kind of um, the neck super twisted, and the frets are all dinged. And but it sounds good, and I like it. Okay, so I use both these guitars live. They're different tunings. So this is just standard, and that's open D. Um, they sound pretty much the same. That one's maybe a bit meatier, and I run off the um, the bridge pickups, and I just I have the volume and everything on full. This one I actually go to the the neck for one song but uh, yeah I just everything on full generally I do all of, like adjustments and stuff with my board on stage um, so I don't yeah I don't do that it throws me off a lot and I get quite lost <laughs> strings I use are Diario. this one's 11 to 49 and that's 11 to 52 because it's open tuning and the heavier strings on the bottom top oh, no, I can remember which way around low strings stayed in tune better when you got the slightly heavier gauge so that's how I use those this is actually made by a guy I don't know where he is it's, it's called Pine Grove Leather and um, he makes really nice straps that's, a, that's a, another Pine Grove one but uh, this one's nice it's got a nice little detail in there whatever that is but it looks nice it's comfy too um, okay so this is my board I go into the volume pedal here so that's how I, I do lots of volume control and swells during the show I do that into there and then that goes straight into this Dynacomp compressor um, and then we get into the, the switcher which is a gig rig switcher which is amazing the great thing about this switcher well for me I mean it does loads of things but what I use it for mostly is it's a MIDI controller that can control the timeline which has infinite amount of delays on it and I can you know just press a button and it goes to the presets that you've made and whatever so it's super useful instead of having to have like five different delays on stage I've got one and I can just control it with a tap of a button and then here you just kind of dial in whatever pedals you want so each one of these pedals is assigned a number and then you can just put it in or not five that was the Strymon Deco if I wanted that in there so it's um it's super useful there's no no, no more tap dancing I do a little bit of kind of several at the same time but nothing like the old days and then yeah so I kind of uh, run a so once I've gone into Dynacom I go into here and then the order they run in is it goes this is a Hudson Hudson Broadcast Jewel which is a, like a, it's a preamp based on the 60s TV gear I think it sounds really cool it's very fizzy and then I go into the Benson preamp which is a bit smoother it's very versatile but I use it for kind of like a clean cleanish gain slightly dirty and then that goes into the deco, which is just a clean boost. Yeah. And then also has, um, I can use it as a phaser or a delay. It's kind of got, it's like a, based on a double tape tracker thing. So you can kind of put the tapes out of sync with each other. That's the kind of idea. So you get the saturation and the boost and then the, the other t tape speed and you can change it. And then it goes to uh, a reverb, which I just, the only reason it's that point in the chain is because I couldn't actually fit it anywhere else. I didn't have enough patch cables the right length so <laughs> it just had to go in at six and then I go to the this guy which is like a vibra it's called the shaker by TC electronics it's just kind of like a modulation thing which I've had forever and then into the timeline which is just the infinite delay machine and then I have a looper attached to that so I can make live loops and then go into the tensor well, actually no these two the other way around sorry go into the tensor which is like a micro looper slash pitch shifter and it's got this really cool speed effect so it makes you can do like tape stops which is which we do in the show and then holy grail at the end which is just always on uh reverb and it's you know holy grail called it for a reason don't need anything else the most important pedal i would say is probably the holy grail that was the first one i think that was the first pedal we got for the band 
well, for my, my part as well. Actually, Lee had one as well, but he had a slightly different Holy Grail. But yeah, that and the timeline delay are probably the main ones. And then like, we, we, we run a really clean sound. We like to hear the amp and what the amp's doing for a lot. So you don't want to change that too much. But now, you know, we've got, we do have to explore some different kind of drive tones. So this is very good for like dirty, fuzzy stuff. And that's just got a really nice kick to it, but you can still hear the hear the amp, you know, working properly. But um, yeah, the Holy Grail is probably the one, you know. Um, and I run it with um, I use a, I use the amp reverb just a little bit as well because it's I mean you got a real spring in there and it sounds amazing. So actually, back home I don't have one of these. <laughs> I've got a Fender Deville, but because we have to get to hire them in, I can kind of choose what I want. So I get the deluxe reverb which is much nicer and uh, this one is super trebly so I've actually taken the treble right off down to about four and I have the bass on full which I haven't done before but it's and you think it would sound awful but it kind of works and then I have just a tiny bit of reverb just like, like two three and then these are off I don't I don't use this and that's that's pretty much it really they come with their own mics there's an SE SA, electronics uh, V7, something like that. I, I don't know, but we've got Gareth, our sound guy, somewhere, and so he's come over with us and he's left us using those, so that's what we use. And then pick wise, I, I've, I'm kind of, I'm not too picky, but uh, I use the 88 mil, 0.8 88, Jim Dunlop, good standard pick. And yeah, in is. Yeah, we use, we use in is. I'm new, pretty new to in is, but. Uh, it makes a difference they're very useful thanks for checking out my gear um, and if you want to see us play a show and hear those noises uh, we're at wearepalace.com